Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. You're watching the Neo Limix introductory pack. We're still learning some of the skills that are available to us. And today we are on the eighth level of the skills group. Stacks and stones saved our bones. This is going to involve the stacker, which works very differently in Neo Limix than it did in Limix 2. And then we will also have the stoner, which is kind of a bomber that becomes a blocker. You'll see. Stackers and stoners are up next. Stackers create a vertical wall of eight bricks right in front of them. The wall is high enough to turn around lemmings after it has been finished. The last three bricks are again indicated by a click. So I think the stacker was 12 bricks in lemmings 2. And the stacker actually got on top of the wall as he worked. But in Neo Limix, he just builds the wall in front of him and it makes something that they can turn around it'll turn around with me. Stoners are stim similar to bombers, but instead of exploding, the limbing turns into a limbing-shaped stone. This can also be used to block limbing. Stoners can be assigned in midair. This allows them to create terrain blocks during a fall, which other limbings can land on. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be saving our compatriots by with a well-timed okay, here we go. Probably about, I would say, right here. There we go. And yeah, he's just He's just a stone-cold lemming now. Now we're going to... Looks like... Uh, okay, we're going to have to do... Okay, so we only get five stackers. But we have six little ledges out here. So one of them is going to be blocked with a stoner. So no time like the present, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop that one. Boop! Doesn't affect the terrain around it just becomes a little stone statue kind of weirdly kind of weirdly tragic in a way okay there we go boop whoa okay so one of them is gonna walk over the wall there that's that's a little bit scary so he's gonna fall that's gonna spell curtains for oh no that's no good okay well some of them are going to die just because well one of them one more is going to, two more are going to die because we're going to put a stoner right here. There we go. A well-timed stoner. Ah, there he goes. Getting high for the rest of all eternity. Boy, give me some of that lemming strain. That's the good stuff right there. So, okay. Let's make our way out of here. I think we've spent quite enough time perusing the strains at the dispensary. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, one lemming is going to walk over that stacker wall every time. So that's going to result in death for this one. That's unfortunate. Oh, you hate to see it. So, But that is still far more than we need to satisfy the level, uh, what the level asks of us. Only five lemmings had to be saved, and we ended up saving, uh, looks like, either 15 or 10. We rescued 15. The flag indicated that we got 10 more than we needed. So, yeah, no problem. Stackers, stoners, I get it. But you got to be quick to keep the uh, lemmings from walking over all that good stuff. Next level. Next level is Amphibious Engineer Squad. So this is probably going to be Swimmers and Disarmers. Swimmers are from Lemmings 2. Disarmers are completely new to Neo Lemmings. Four Lemmings. Gotta save three, but I have a feeling we'll be able to save all four. Lemmings normally can't swim, so water is a death trap for them. Unless you've got swimmers. The swimmer is a permanent skill. I'll have to remember that. Although that's that was the case in Lemmings too, so this should be easy to remember. Uh, with which they can cross any pond or river. In some levels, there are also deadly traps which kill lemmings who walk into their trigger area. Disarmers can deactivate them for good. Like the Swimmer, the Disarmor is a permanent skill. Disarming takes a few seconds, but the trap becomes harmless immediately. A very interesting tweak that they've got going here. Okay, so we've got... Okay, we've got Swimmers. They're going across the water there. All right. All right, so... All right. So the Disarmor gets going. Okay, but the, uh, but the effect is immediate. Very good. So... All right, so we want, once again, did it say Disarmor was a permanent skill? I'm going to go ahead and reassign it. Okay, so he uses it once. So, like, you assign it, and then 
he kind of becomes it until he comes up on a trap trigger at which point that trap is no longer usable very cool very cool little oh no well this is no good i have uh what's going on here i okay hopefully they don't all just die now okay yeah permanent skill that's right so he's assigned everything is good so yeah there we go okay gotta remember that as long as the one in front is still disarming things we're good to go i was a little scared there i was like wait a minute i only have two disarmers and i have three traps to disarm but okay i gotta remember disarming is a permanent skill okay so that was a little bit of that was a little bit spooktacular but we're moving on walking on the cloner cliffs the cloner is completely new to neo and mix one lemming so yeah with cloning you can do funky stuff like this which is you have one lemming in the level but you have to save five so we have to create clones that can satisfy the saving requirement walkers and cloners are two very handy skills walkers turn around walking lemmings in the other direction they can also interrupt any skill a lemming is currently doing this includes the blocker skill but no permanent ones interrupting does not change the direction of the lemming the cloner creates a clone of the lemming. The clone faces the other direction and inherits all permanent and non-permanent skills from the original lemming. If the original has five builder steps left, the clone has five builder steps left. Let's see if you can save them all. That's okay. So we've got we've got a task before us for sure. Okay, so we only have one lemming here, and we are going to go ahead and let's see. Hmm. Four lemmings. Oh boy, yeah. So you gotta split them up in such a way. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and create... Okay, I think I've got it mostly. We're gonna do a walker and another walker. Okay, so then we just want to do clones. Okay, boop, 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 boop. And then we'll turn him around with a walker. There we go. Five lemmings into the hatch. That wasn't too hard at all. That was, in fact, pretty enjoyable. Uh, that's a great way to learn that skill. Cloning is a lot of fun. And, yeah, I can tell it's going to get pretty tricky, though. Uh, those cloners can really can really mess with your head, if especially if the saving requirement is all goofy like it was there. Let's move on. Jumping limb flash. So we have jumpers in this one, I think. Yay, all right. And uh, that may be it. Okay, so jumping limb flash, two limbings, only got to save one. The jumper skill makes a limbing jump forward in an arc, which we saw first in limbings 2 and has only recently been integrated into Neo Limix, I believe. Uh, only, I don't even think it's been agreed that it's a permanent skill yet. Uh, but it has been included. Maybe the jumper maybe the jumper is permanent now. Maybe I'm talking out my butt. Should he not hit solid ground after finishing the arc, he will fall straight down. The distance fallen will be measured starting after the jump in this case. Should the lemming hit his head on a ceiling during jump, he will fall straight down immediately without turning around. If he jumps into a wall in front of him, he will not only fall, but also turn around. Let's jump into this. Okay, so... Okay, he should he not hit, he'll fall straight down starting after the jump so i could theoretically make it down like hmm i don't know okay so and we don't have the stun animation here like we did in the tribes so let's see what's up okay so we've got jumpers let's see how they work out Woo! Wee! all right oh wow okay and he falls straight down Okay, yeah, we can handle one at a time here. So he's going to go, boop, there we go. Yeah, that turns him around. Very nice. Oh, wow, just barely made it, but just barely counts. So, all right. So, yeah, we only have to do one other limbing this way. And, all right, and boop, right onto solid ground. Okay, so one down, one to go. Here we go. You go next, little man. There we go. All right, and down you plummet. There we go. And we'll turn you around. 
All right, and you should just barely be able to clear this. There we go. All right, not too bad. Not too bad a little level there. I, th I feel like they make a... I feel like they make a more of an, like, obvious parabola. Like, it feels like they jump more forward in Lemmings 2. But they have, like, a big, wide, outsized arc in Neo Lemmings. But since Neo Lemmings is where I'm going to be using jumpers going forward, the Neo Lemmings jumping arc is uh, obviously the one I need to get used to. They can't mash us all. <laughs> Just watch them try. 60 Lemmings. Gotta save six. Oh my gosh, yeah, so somebody's gonna get squished. What happens here? You may have noticed a number above the plus and the minus. Oh, this is about playing with release rate. Uh, or as it's now called in the editor, spawn rate. Uh, this is the current release rate. The release rate determines the rate at which the hatch releases new lemmings. The higher the number, the faster they spawn. Every level has a starting release rate that you cannot go under. Let's try turning the release rate up to the maximum of 99 in this level. With a slow standard rate, the lemmings won't be able to go through the traps. But when enough come through at the same time, they all huddle together for one. Then you can immediately go to 99 by right-clicking it. So, so this is a walker level. You don't Usually you see these as like the first level in a pack. Oh man, boy, that, that masher is working overtime. But I think it's going to... I don't think it's going to get everybody... So yeah, yeah, they're coming out spaced pretty evenly. I think we're going to get more than six. Uh, I think that's just sort of a safety net. Yeah, we get more than the requirement that way. Uh, it would have been a nice little stressor to make it so that, hey, you need to save 12. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure why you would just play around. But yeah, usually you see a walker level like at the very beginning of a pack. So it's kind of weird to see one here on level i think this that was 12 i think that was the next to last uh skill assignment so release rate is not really a skill per se but i suppose you could argue that knowing how to manipulate lemmings with it is a skill of sorts all right yeah just uh just nuke them oh well okay that some level, some level titles are a very subtle hint, and others, not so much. 80 Lemmings got to save 8. So we're going to go ahead, and last, we've got the Nuke. The Nuke is always available. It assigns a countdown to all Lemmings. When it reaches 0, the Lemmings explode and die. It also stops any more Lemmings from entering the level. The Nuke can be more than just the Rage Quit button, though. The Lemmings will explode one after another, and the ones whose timer still hasn't reached 0 can still walk and act. Use this fact in this level, let all the lemmings enter the level, then double click the nuke button. Observe closely. So alright, they're gonna go down into there. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and let all 80 lemmings pour out. Alright, like so. That is some lovely blue fire we've got going here. That is Wow, well, that's a nice little addition. I wonder if that's like super fire, like if there's any difference other than aesthetic i'm inclined to think not but here we go okay so now we nuke the lemmings some will get into the exit some will not so what happens here so some will fall some will hit the trigger and we ended up saving 30 some odd lemmings i think this way yeah 35 lemmings that that level was no problem and that's i don't know that that's going to be used really in this pack it might be for all I know, uh, there may be a point where you run out of skills and then you need to nuke your way to the end somehow. But <laughs> uh, that one was that one was silly. Um, that's not something you see too often. It's not. I mean, there's not really much you can do with that. Like it's. I don't know. I don't know. There's. It's kind of just a one trick deal. I don't know why it's really in here. Other than to maybe prepare you for the eventuality that some level designer will try to be funny and throw it in. Uh, let's, we've got some time. Let's do a few of the object and function levels. Let's go ahead and fit in some of these. Ah, oh, we got the Shadow Tribe up for a walk, are we? So, objects and functions. So now we've learned, I think we've been introduced to all the skills that there are. Now we're going to be looking at objects and functions. We have to save every lemming in this level. 
Uh, it is a pretty long stroll to the TARDIS, but we probably have infinite time. This rank aims to teach you about all the different types of objects and terrain you may encounter, as well as the most essential functions in EOMX. The pause button on the skill bar pauses the game just like your middle click or your space key. Pressing 4 and 5 will activate fast forward mode to accelerate the game. Pressing the button with the two green arrows also works for this. This level has a lot of decorative objects lemmings can simply pass through. They are normally placed outside the main playing area, though. Go for a walk here. See for yourself. Okay, so I don't think... Okay, some of these objects are decorative. Some are not. The lamppost is decorative. I'm sure the trees are as well. Those are some shiny trees. It's oh, there's a there's a dude in the house there. That's a uh, that's interesting. So all right, so is he a is he a trap or something? Okay, so now they turn around and they hit the house. So we actually got to bash through the house. We're bashing our way through uh, this poor man's residence. He's looking out the window. Honey, honey, the rodents are at it again. They're pet. They're the the little the little termite puncher guys. They're going through. What happens here? Oh, that's just decorative terrain. We just punched through his windowsill, and now his feet no longer exist. Ah, oh, what a what a state of affairs. Okay, so we're going to be bashing through one more house this way. It looks like going through one more guy's property, uh, punching through God knows what parts of his anatomy. So. There we go. All right, so you punch through the house. All right, and we're walking over the gates. Gated communities mean nothing to lemmings. They have no concept of property or capitalism, and frankly, they're probably better off for it. So there we go. All right, and the timer counts up. We have all the time in the world, so now we just watch them walk through the decorative lampposts some more brightly lit than others so let's just get all the lemmings to the end here that is uh, quite excruciating to watch but thankfully we have the lovely skip forward function so all right very good we are on objects and functions i think we've probably got a little bit of time to do one more what is one more object and function so objects and functions First one, we learned about background details. Second one, time crime. So time limits. Time limits are pretty rare in Neo Wimix because the emphasis in the custom Wimix scene is on solving the puzzle, not figuring out how fast you can do it. Sometimes that is a component of the puzzle solving, but these days it's kind of a rare thing. But it does still show up from time to time as part of a puzzle solving deal. So 100 Wimmings gotta save 95 of them what is the deal here time waits for no one some levels have a time limit and will prevent lemmings from exiting when it runs out if you have not saved enough lemmings at that point you have failed your attempt timer can be observed in the upper right of the skill bar be sure to use the shortest way possible to the exit avoid having the lemmings walk long detours and crank the release rate up to the maximum as soon as possible to get the lemmings out quickly if you do all these things timers will be a lot less scary Wink. Okay, so what have we got here? We got, okay, so we got to find the fastest way out, which is going to be, I think, all right, we're going to go ahead and put a blocker down. They will fall through a blocker when they drop. Okay, so we got, we don't have much time here, but as soon as we know that the way is clear, we need to go ahead and uh, get them going toward the exit. So I think we're going to do that. All right, and let's go ahead now. Okay, yeah. Drop them all out. They should all walk to the exit at this point. Should not take... Okay, well, some of them... Some of them are coming out pretty quick. We may have wanted to do this... Maybe as soon as possible. Uh, maybe we messed this up somehow. We've still got Wimmings coming out with 30 seconds to go in. Oh, wow. Golly. Okay, so the last of them has... 30 seconds to get from here to here with all the going back and forth that's actually moderately scary so yeah 20 seconds to do that bit so another 10 seconds to do this bit no i think we should be fine 
We will, we will run up on the ending time limit, but I think we will save more Wemmings than necessary. We won't even get to see all of the nuke happen, although they will get to explode. We did put them out of their misery in time. <laughs> oh wow, the little, uh, the little buzzer ding. That was a cute little touch. Our time is up. And we rescued more Wemmings than we needed. Well, thank goodness. I think that's a good place to stop for today. Uh, we did not mess up. There was a mess. And I'm feeling some stress. But mostly I'm just blessed. So, yeah. Next time we will uh, go through the objects and functions. There's 15 more levels of that. So, yeah. A lot more to learn with objects and functions. Uh, as opposed to skills skills was pretty easy uh, as I think most of this pack will be I don't think it's designed to really bust your brain but I think it's going to be a fun one anyway so there we go one one uh, air quotes difficulty rating down already such as it is